Hello, my name is Ben Bowen, and I invest in companies that are focused on improving the human condition. Uh, these are usually businesses in the lifestyle brand category, maybe health and well, health and wellness. You know, why do I make these videos? I make them to help entrepreneurs, you know, sell their products and services, and give them some insights on how to battle the brands that are out there advertising that are not doing things to improve that same human condition. So. Today, what are we talking about? Today, we are talking about customer acquisition costs. I get this a lot. What should I spend on getting a customer? It's a super important question because if we don't know what we're spending, we could be losing money every time we acquire a customer, which then gives our company work and things to do. And now we're not even making money. So we definitely need to understand what does it cost to get a customer? Um, because once we start to understand that, then we can start to make decisions on optimizing uh, for profit or optimizing for time. Um, these are all valuable resources in our business and our lives. So this is kind of the first question, but it poses uh, more questions to, to me to be able to get to this. So this is a model that I would run if I was going into a meeting with an entrepreneur that I'm working with that says, I don't know uh, what, what I need to pay to get a customer. And uh, quite frankly, they don't even ask that. They say uh, they don't know what their customer acquisition costs are. I usually like to say, do you know what you want to pay to get one? And they say as little as possible, which may not be the answer all the time that as little as possible is the right answer because we need to make sure that the company does two things when it gets a customer. Number one, it creates profit for the organization. And number two, it funds the acquisition of the next customer. And if you can, if you can build a system that thinks like this, then the system is infinite and it will never stop driving customers and pulling them into the business. All we have to do after that is optimizing for more profit or more customers and pulling the levers and making the changes in the strategy to do so. So in order to understand what you should spend on a customer, I think we first need to understand what is the lifetime value? So LTV, you know, what is the lifetime value of your customer? So let's use an example. Let's say for easy math, you're a customer that brings in, um, sells a product or service that's a, roughly $100 per month. So, you know, you've got $100 in month one, okay? And then month two, you've got another 100. In month three, you've got another 100. In month four, another 100. Bear with me for a second. I'm trying to make a point here. In number five, you've got another 100. Six, another 100. Let's go seven, another 100, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we need to calculate what the lifetime value of your customer is. So we know what we charge them. We know what they buy. They buy something that costs, costs them $100 per month. And we know we charge them every single month for that. But that's not an, always an infinite number per customer. In most cases, it's not. So what we have to figure out, and we have to look at the data that we have, and, 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 it's, and the sales and the customers that we've dealt with already, and figure out when do we think, uh, when is the data telling us that um, our customers usually fall off. What's our churn rate? After how many months do we on average lose a customer? Yes, some stay what seems like forever and some leave right away, but what's the average? And let's say that line kind of in the sand, let's pick a nice nice color there. Let's call that um, the line in the sand, that red line. So they, they usually leave between six to seven months. So we know that the lifetime value of this customer is $600. Okay, so now we start to understand what the customer's worth to us. Now we can more easily think about what we're willing to pay to get that same customer. So if we're talking about $600 per month, there's a couple of ways that we can think about what we would invest to get that in, invest to get that customer every single time. It could be a percentage of top line revenue. So maybe it's 30, uh, sorry, maybe it's, you know, five or 10% of that $600. All right, maybe it's so maybe it's uh, 30 to $60 per customer that we would like to spend to be able to get that one. And at the beginning, this is a bit of a hypothesis that we're building. Or we could say it's maybe 30% of profit. So maybe you profit 100, uh, maybe you profit $100 from each of those customers over the course of six months. I'm hoping it's more than that. But for easy math, if we're taking 30% of profit, you get to $30. Um, or $200 get to $60, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now we have got a couple of ways to think about how much we're going to invest. So it sounds like we're somewhere in the, you know, we want to spend $60 in order to grow by one, whoops, to grow by one customer. So one customer. Okay, so now this is at least a starting point. And this is something that we can work with. So now we continue to work with the business and, and build our strategy around $60 per customer. 
and kind of identify where we're at today. Obviously, if we're more than that, we need to build a strategy to pull it, that number down to 60, or we need to get more realistic about what that number is. So is this, uh, is this strategy, this modeling that you do in one session going to give you all the answers? No, this is a starting point that you will model and you will test against with data on the coming days, weeks, or months, depending on the velocity that customers come into your business. You'll, you know, the more customers that come in, the faster you'll be able to see trends. The slower they come in, it will take you a bit longer. But at least we're thinking mathematically um, um, about our customer acquisition costs and what we should be spending. So there's other ways to increase our lifetime value, which is so imperative because if we can increase that lifetime value, we can either put more money into getting more customers or we can put more profit into our pockets or even better, a combination of both, right? You know, that's the utopian situation. So how can we increase our LTV? Well, we could extend the turnover timeline, okay? So we can bring customers into, you know, maybe we extend it to nine months and we really look at it and talk to our customers. You know, we lose a lot of customers around six to seven months. What's happening to, that would cause them to go on average between six and seven months? And then what can we offer them in terms of value to go all the way to nine months? And that becomes our new target. So that way our LTV is $900, okay? So we can do that. We can also add new products and services. We already know that we're competent of solving a problem for customers that they're willing to pay at least $600 for. So is there other similar products or services we could sell them to solve other problems that we can then charge them for and increase our LTV that way? Um, and lastly, we could always increase pricing. Maybe it's not $100 a month. Maybe it should be $120 a month. I don't know, but that's a way that we could increase our LTV. And by increasing our LTV, now we feel like we have more to spend to get customers and or put profit into our pockets. And again, we come all the way back to what we talked about at the beginning of this video, which is we need to build a system that every time we get a customer, it puts profit in our pockets and buys our next customer. And once we can do that, all of this uh, mythical thinking around getting customers and sales and marketing and what should we do and, you know, try this, try that. And, you know, call it the, uh, the shotgun strategy where just bullets go everywhere. We can start to have more of like a, like a sniper uh, strategy where we know exactly what we're doing. We manage our, we increase our LTV. We manage our customer acquisition costs really tightly. And that will produce the profit that we need for our pockets and produce the revenue that we need to drive the next customer. I hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Ben Bowen, helping companies improve the human condition through the products and services that they sell. Have a good day.